Hello and welcome to my news channel here Turkey. Good to be with you. Let's start. A research team from UCL has solved a decades-old mystery as to how Jupiter produces a burst of X-rays every few minutes. The X-rays are part of Jupiter's aurora. Bursts of invisible and visible light that occur when charged particles interact with the planet's atmosphere. A similar phenomenon occurs on Earth, but Jupiter's is much more powerful, releasing hundreds of gigawatts of energy, enough to briefly power all of human civilization. In a new study published in Science Advances, Researchers combined close-up observations of Jupiter's environment by NASA's satellite Juno. Co-lead author Dr. William Dern from UCL Mallard Space Science Laboratory said, We have seen Jupiter producing X-ray aurora for four decades, but we didn't know how this happened. We only knew they were produced when ions crashed into the planet's atmosphere. X-ray auroras occur at Jupiter's south and north poles. During this observation, Jupiter was producing bursts of X-rays every 27 minutes. Jupiter's magnetic field is extremely strong, about 20,000 times as strong as Earth, and therefore its magnetosphere, the area controlled by this magnetic field, is extremely large. Researchers have identified a protein that appears to help prevent tumor cells. The findings published in Science Advances help shed light on little understood part of metastasis. The researchers further show that artificially increasing the expression of TRPM7 in tumor cells may help stop metastasis. TRPM7 has long been known to regulate calcium in cells. But this new insight into its role in cell migration is exciting, according to researchers. Konstantinos Konstantopoulos, a professor of chemical and biochemical engineering and member of the John Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center, said, The process is akin to what happens when you touch a hot kettle, feel its hot and remove your hand. The protein senses the flow of the fluid in circulatory system and instructs the cells to reverse direction. In subsequent experiments, researchers found that normal cells had higher levels of TRPM7 rather than sarcoma cells, a type of cancerous tumor cells. More research is needed, but the team hopes that the findings could eventually lead to new cancer therapies. Arctic sea ice plays an important role in controlling the planet's temperature. A major report on climate change in 2007 linked the growing concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere caused by human activity. The disappearance of the sea ice in a warming world also contributes to rising average surface temperatures. The sea ice is estimated to reflect 80% of sunlight back into space meaning it does not warm the surface. Figures from the US Space Agency suggest the loss of the minimum Arctic sea ice extent is in the region of 13.1% per decade, based on the 1981 to 2010 average. The freezing of the ocean in the Arctic is a seasonal occurrence, with the freezing peaking in March and the melting reaching its maximum in September. However, data from on-the-ground observations and from satellites tell us that the extent of sea ice in the Arctic polar region is declining as the planet forms. Ultimately, scientists fear the increasing amount of ground being exposed in regions traditionally covered with snow will trigger a tipping point. Normal brain growth curves for children developed childhood brain disorders. In the United States, almost every pediatric doctor's visit begins with three measurements – weight, height and head circumference. Compared to average growth charts of children across the country established in 1970s, a child's numbers can confirm typical development or provide a diagnostic baseline to assess deviations from the curve. Head circumference may indicate a head growth issue, which could be further investigated to determine if there is an issue with brain size or extra fluid. Could researchers develop normalized growth curve charts for the brain? 
That was the question, Stefan Schiff, Russian professor of engineering at Penn State. He said brain science research also has a very unfortunate history, as it was often used to attempt to scientifically prove one gender or race or culture of people as better than another. The researchers analyzed more than 1,000 brain scans of 505 healthy children from the National Institutes of Health Pediatric MRI repository. The first startling finding was the difference in brain volume between female and male children. The second finding was one of striking similarity rather than differences. The researchers plan to continue studying ratio and its potential functions as well as underlying mechanisms in children and across the lifespan. That's the news for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Follow my Instagram account and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon.